If you're ever in London, you may notice an interesting new building in town. One that sets new standards for innovation and sustainability and raises the bar for future office spaces around the world. It's a building that was awarded the RIBA Sterling Prize 2018, the most prestigious architecture accolade in the UK. And if you think it looks cool from the outside, just wait. You know you're somewhere completely different the moment you enter the building. This is our lobby. It's really impressive. We call it the Vortex. At the center of the Vortex is the first of a number of artworks that are integrated into the building. The lifts take us directly to the pantry. The scenic lifts are made completely of glass, giving uninterrupted views through the building and of the city. Arriving at level six. For me, the pantry is the heart of the building. And that's not just because it's bursting with healthy food and snacks. The space was engineered to make the most of the amazing view of St. Paul's Cathedral. The pantry is more than just a canteen and the ramp is way more than a staircase. They are the places we meet, where we can stop, chat, dare I say it, connect. This sculptural walkway brings people together. It symbolizes the dynamism of Bloomberg's culture. Technology is also at the heart of our culture and is implemented throughout the building. A wayfinding app helps employees navigate the massive floor plan. I love how open our workspace is. You can look right across the floors and see everyone that you work with. Hey, Julian. Hi, Jack. In most offices, there is one large central core for structural support and to house services such as stairs, lifts and bathrooms. But in this building, in fact two buildings joined by walkways, there are multiple smaller cores pushed right back to the perimeter. It creates huge, open-plan floors with no walls to stop the flow of people and information. Everyone has the same size desk. Including me. Flexibility and collaboration are the hallmarks of the way we work. All desks have a standing mode for comfort, and file cabinets double as seats, making it easy for colleagues and visitors to collaborate. The desks were designed around the central tables to encourage team collaboration. Then we have these mobile pods. There's no need to book them, another great option for spontaneous team meetings. They're designed to be super flexible. We can move them as we need. This is why the walls don't reach the ceiling. And by the way, our ceilings are more than just decoration. These panels are the first of their kind. They simultaneously cool and light the building while also absorbing sound. They're just one of the innovations in this building that is going to transform sustainable office design. Rainwater capture, grey water recycling and vacuum flush toilets help reduce water use by 73%. We generate our own power. The heat from this process is repurposed to warm the office in winter and cool it in summer. The building also breathes. The bronze fins open to let fresh air in. It's drawn up through the building and out the atrium roof. And it's not just fresh air invigorating the workspace. There are works of art integrated into the building by some of the world's most celebrated contemporary artists. And the art is for everyone, like the sculpture 
by Cristina Iglesias and a gallery open to the public. Bloomberg has also restored a Roman temple from almost 2,000 years ago. Many of the Roman artifacts discovered by archaeologists during the groundworks are also on display, so everyone can fully experience the history of the site. Talking about history, the Bloomberg Arcade follows the trail of a historic Roman road. It's also where we like to get lunch. It's full of awesome restaurants. There's really something for everyone. A new destination, the Bloomberg Arcade, gives opportunities to small businesses, inside and outside of office hours. With 55% of the ground floor given over to public use, including new access to Bank Station within the Bloomberg building, it's all about being a part of the community where we work. The building is stunning, and it also respects its historic neighbors, like this 17th century church, Sir Christopher Wren's masterpiece, St. Stephen Walbrook. From its modest height to the choice of materials, the building was designed and constructed to fit in with its surroundings. Stone from the UK, color matched to the magistrate's court next door. Serrated glass panes from China, the largest grooved glass in the world. Hand polished bronze fins from Japan that will age gracefully. It's a building that brings our 4,000 London employees together under the same roof with room to grow. On the inside, the workplace of the future. On the outside, a building that honors the past. On the whole, a really exciting place to come to work every day. <laughs>